guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be watching a video called Every Puskas Goal Winner, basically. Every goal that won the Puskas Award versus a runner-up. And let's just go through the video and I'm gonna tell you if the goal was a robbery or if it was a deserved winner of the award. Uh, this should be really fun. I love watching beautiful goals. I'm sure most of you guys do too. Uh, if you guys like this video, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to react to as well. Like I always tell you in these videos, let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to get to it. Uh, but yeah, let's not drag this into one any further and let's get into the video. All right, so here we have it. Let's see. Let's see all these beautiful goals, huh? I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of disagreements here because I think the Puskas a lot of times gets the award just very wrong. Let me just turn this on. 2009, it's Ronaldo against Porto. Obviously, the iconic goal in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. I'm not sure what the runner-up is for this one, actually. I haven't seen it yet. So, let's see. It's Iniesta against Chelsea. Look, um, Ronaldo was the right for one another. I think Iniesta's goal was beautiful. I mean, outside of the boot, top corner. Last, like, if you're talking about context... Obviously, I think Iniesta's goal is higher because one was in the quarterfinals and one was a last-minute goal to literally send the team to a Champions League final. But obviously, in terms of quality, I think Ronaldo's is better. I mean, the guy shot it from like 50 yards out and like put it basically in the corner. But uh, yeah, I think that was right for one. But Iniesta's goal, I mean, you guys know how much I love Barcelona. I, like, they're my club, but uh, Ronaldo's number is definitely the winner there. 2010. Bro, that goal was insane. What the? Wait, I've never seen that shit before. Let me see. Uh, I gotta watch this one more time. Wait. Ant Altintop. Oh, shit. Versus Kazakhstan. Bro, that's nasty. How does he catch that so perfectly on that volley? Well, we got Halenius versus Sir Sirinkansi. I don't even know what that shit was. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. You guys can let me know in the comment section. I think that's a tie. I think that's a tie. That second goal is insane, bro. Look at this. Because he flicks it over the defender. Look at this. Look at the way he flicks it over the defender. Boom. And then, like, that angle to finish from there is insane, bro. That is crazy. I would actually say that the first goal was actually the rightful winner, but really close. I mean, that voting was, must have been really fucking close. That's insane. 2011. Oh, Neymar versus Flamengo. Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. That's insane. I'm not sure what the runner-up is. Unless it's Messi against Real Madrid in the semifinals of the Champions League, I don't know if there's going to be a goal that contests this one. Bro, look at that ball control. This guy, bro. What a talent. People forget how good he was at Santos, too. What a talent. Such an amazing player to watch. Who's the runner-up for this one? Let's see. Oh, Messi versus Arsenal. This is actually not the Messi goal that I would even pick for this season. But the way he, like, I mean, this goal is obviously iconic for Messi. This whole game was iconic for Messi. The way he chips it over on Munia and then he finishes like that. I think Neymar's goal was better, obviously, because Messi's goal, I mean, the chip was what makes it so good. But in terms of, like, individual quality, Neymar's is better. Now, if it was, if you're asking me, I would obviously pick Messi's goal against Real Madrid in the Champions League semifinal in the Bernabeu when he takes on the whole defense and finishes it beautifully. I think that goal, honestly, is better than Neymar's. But if this was actually the runner-up, then Neymar obviously, obviously wins it because this Messi goal is insane, but it's just not better than Neymar's. And you guys know how much I love Messi. I'm a Messi glazer, but Neymar's is better. That was a rightful winner, in my opinion. 2012. Oh, my God. I remember this goal. This is crazy. Yeah, that's insane. That is insane, bro. He, like, finishes across his body or something. That is a crazy volley. And then Falcao versus... Oh, the Portillo Cali. Bro. Is it just me? Had you guys seen that Falcao goal before? I had never seen that Falcao goal before. That that would win it for me. That goal's better. Dude, he fucking bicycle kicks it from basically the penalty spot. Like, behind the penalty spot. Look at this. And it's not even like, like bro, the way he adjusts his body. Honestly, I'm going with Falcao there. I'm going with Falcao there. 2012 is Falcao on me. Oh, Ibra. Yeah, this is one of the best goals I've ever seen. This small fucker, bro. What the fuck is that? That is insane. I had to I had to catch my breath after watching that shit, bro. That is insane. What is the run? I wonder. I keep saying this, but I really wonder what the runner of the, is for this one. Let's see, Matic. Nah, I mean it's a great goal, a fantastic goal. Slatan's is way better. I mean a bicycle kick from fucking basically the halfway line, and and it doesn't even like it. It goes inside like it's crazy. James versus Uruguay in the World Cup, and then Roche versus Wexford. I mean, bro, what is this? Come on. Is this like Sunday League shit? What are we watching here? What league is that? Let's just rewind it because it went by really fast. One isn't... Okay, 
Hamas chests the ball down. In a World Cup round of 16 game, by the way. He chests it down. He fucking brings it down. He hits it perfectly. And then it hits the post and it goes in. And the other guy, I mean, he's playing in what? I don't. I, this looks like his grandma's backyard or something. What, what? I don't know. Like, great goal. I mean, good for him. But this is like, this is like those like, I feel like I saw this goal in Chris Sandy's my Sunday my Sunday league videos that he used to make. You remember when like he used to post like a Sunday league clips? I feel like this is this goes from there. I don't know. There's a good goal, but no, Hamas is better for sure. Better. 2015, Messi should have won this one. I don't care what this is. Yeah, like I don't. I mean, it's a good bicycle kick. Is it the best bicycle kick I've ever seen? Absolutely not. Yeah, what? Watch this goal. How does that not win the Puskas award? That's why when Ronaldo fans say that Messi doesn't have a Puskas award and it's like the GOAT debate is over, where is Messi's Puskas? Are you kidding me, bro? Are you fucking kidding me with that goal? Are you kidding me with that goal? That's the best goal I've ever seen in my entire life. And the, this, like, this, this fucking bicycle kick. Let's just rewatch it. Let's just compare these goals one more time. Let's rewatch this. So, good bicycle kick. I mean, great. He's like, the goalie's positioning is basically terrible there. And it's a good finish, okay? It looks like Messi's bicycle kick when he played for PSG. And then this goal. When he picks it up in his own halfway line, just above his halfway line. And look at this shit. In a Copa del Rey final, too. Like, no, bro. Come on. Fuck off. Stupid. The fact that this didn't win Puskas is criminal. The fact that Messi's never won Puskas is criminal. Criminal, criminal, criminal. Look at this shit. Oh, my God, bro. 2016. Let's see. Bro, what is that? A fucking... I mean, both were pretty good. This goal, it looks like wiffle ball. Have you guys ever played wiffle ball? It's like that bit, like that pseudo baseball game that you play in your backyard when the ball just moves crazy. That looks like a fucking wiffle ball, bro. That is insane. Look at the movement on that thing. I mean, yeah, that's the rightful winner. This goal is good. I mean, sorry, I, 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 I speed it up, but this goal is good, but it's just not... I don't know. Like, there was probably better goals that season as well. I'm not sure why. Dimitri, uh, Dimitri Pyatt's goal that year... And against, I forget who it was, but that you guys know the free kick that I'm talking about was better than that, too. Oh, Giroud, this goal is insane, bro. This goal is insane. Like, Scorpion kicks it. A Scorpion kick is crazy. And then Masuek. Oh, the keeper. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Giroud's goal is obviously better, but the fact that a goalkeeper did that, and it's obviously last minute of the game because goalkeepers only fucking go to the box when it's the last minute. He's not gonna do it on the 30th minute of the game. I mean, that makes it probably all the more, like, impressive. But Giroud is the rightful winner. 2018. Yeah, I mean, it's a good goal, but when you see the runner up. Yeah, no, come on. Yeah, no. That, that's that's one of the biggest robberies in Puskas history. Messi in 2015 or Ronaldo in 2018. A robbery. Mohamed Salah's goal is great. I've seen Messi, I've seen Eden Hazard, I've seen Neymar score goals like that basically their whole career. This bicycle kick. In a quarterfinal of the Champions League against Juventus in their stadium. Come on, bro. I mean, look, even everybody knows I'm not the biggest Ronaldo fan, but this is insane. This is insane. Time. A good goal. I don't want to take away from Salah, but look at this. I mean, yeah, he... How does that win the Puskas? He takes on one player and then finishes it like... It's a good finish, but it's not a crazy finish. I don't know. Let's just speed it up. This is stupid, stupid. Ronaldo definitely deserves that. 2019, Messi's streak against Liverpool should have won this one. Zordi ver I mean, it's a good bicycle kick. That's a really good bicycle kick. Messi's is better. Messi's is better. Messi's is better. Let's watch that one more time. Let's watch that one more time. So let's look at this goal. Bicycle kick, great. It's a great hit, and the way he tracks the ball in the air, and he, and he finds it perfectly with his foot, it's a great goal. Okay, the keeper like almost gets his hand on it, but obviously can't keep it out. And then this fucker chips it from outside of the box. He chips the ball from outside of the box, it hits the post, and it goes in. And this, by the way, was this whole hat trick is insane, but this goal specifically, I mean, even the opposing fans were clapping, this to me is the better goal. To chip it from that angle, and like this, a, a, a insane, insane goal. Insane goal. Look at this angle, bro. Insane. Messi deserves that 100%. 2020. Let's see. Oh, Hyun Ming Son. When he takes on like the whole team. Yeah, I remember this. 
doesn't really take on the whole team actually. He takes on like one player really and the rest are just like running behind him. But I mean to do that, he picked it up from his own box and then he just goes all the way, which is fucking crazy. Let's see the runner up for this one. Arrasquet. I'm gonna go with Sun on that one. I think Sun was the rightful winner there. I think Huming Sun, like look, that goal is crazy. Let's look at it one more time. Let's look at it one more time. I mean, that's a far fucking bicycle kick, I'm not gonna lie. He's really far. It's a good goal, I'm not gonna lie. That is a very good goal. Is it better than Son? No, in my opinion, no. I think Son was the rightful winner there. Oh, La Mela, this is crazy. Rabona, oof. A fucking Rabona. And just to curve on that ball is crazy too. Dude, Eric Lamela was actually a really good player in his day. And then Taremi. I think Lamela is the rightful winner there. I think Lamela is the rightful winner. I mean, to, to fucking, to Rabona the ball like that, that's crazy. And then 2022, let's see. Look, I don't want to get canceled, so I'm going to say that the first one is the rightful winner because obviously, I didn't even know this was the winner. I don't want to get canceled, guys. The dude's on crutches and he's doing that. Now, what football league is this? I don't know. Maybe it's the Special Olympics. I'm really not sure what this is. Honestly, if you guys can let me know in the comment section, that'd be great. Um, great goal. This is just a better goal. This is just a way better goal. I mean, that volley is perfect. Dimitri Payet, bro. His goal catalog is insane. Well, that wraps it up. I mean, like, look. The Puskas award, we all know, it's not really a, uh, like, it's imperfect in a sense because a lot of goals that should have won Puskas that didn't win Puskas, like we saw right here, Messi in 2011, I think, against, although that name goal was insane, so not Messi, but Messi in 2015 for sure. I think Messi in 2019, that, that free kick against Liverpool, Ronaldo obviously in 2018 over Salah because that Salah goal was nothing special. Um, I think the Puskas award, it's a great achievement, it's a great thing to accomplish, but I don't think a player grows up and says, my dream is to win a Puskas. It is a fun thing to like give out every year though because obviously we get to highlight players in different leagues and you know who score a variety of different goals. Obviously we saw bicycle kicks, we saw solo goals, we saw Rabonas, we saw everything here. Um, so in my opinion, I think most of the winners were correct except for some years. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know what you thought of this video if you guys liked it. Let me know what goal you thought was what what year what you thought was the biggest robbery here. I'd love to hear in the comment section. You guys know my opinion already. Messi in 2015 and Ronaldo in 2018 for sure because the goals I wanted against theirs weren't even that great in my opinion. And Messi and Ronaldo scored two of the best goals in my opinion in football history. Uh, but yeah, a really fun video to make. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the reaction videos as well. If you guys aren't enjoying them, let me know and I'll stop doing them because obviously I want to give you guys what you guys want to see. But I thought this was a really fun concept and idea to make. Uh, and yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.